Howdy Clips channel. This is not a clip. This is an actual video here today. Okay. Uh, I wanted to just kind of say thank you to everybody that obviously supports this channel over here. And so I might start doing this every few weeks or maybe once a month. I'll actually do a, uh, like a, you know, a, a live video, I guess we can call it and uh, release it on this channel just as kind of a thank you for everybody that obviously supports this channel. I know I put out a lot of content each week and I mean, it's a lot of content between my reaction channel and obviously my main channel that sometimes it's hard to obviously see all the, the videos I'm putting out, especially if you got a busy schedule and whatnot. So this is just kind of like a good channel to um, kind of upload shorter clips of usually like eight to 10 minutes and whatnot of different videos on different subjects. So obviously in my videos, I speak about so many different stocks, so many different things that are going on in the market and whatnot. So um, it can kind of be a lot there. So yeah, I just want to do this video. It's a man, it was a rough one out there today to say the least. Okay. And so I thought I would talk about a little bit of this in this video here today. Um, you know, being down huge, where does that put you kind of mentally? Uh, how do I approach something like this? Uh, where do I go from here and things like that, right? And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. As always, appreciate y'all joining me, okay? So, awful day, right? I mean, uh, you know, down nearly $95,000 in the public account here today. That's a insane move, right? Nine, nearly $95,000. Now, that's just one portfolio I have, right? I have other portfolios as well. So nonetheless, folks, uh, the numbers were much bigger than uh, basically that is there, right? This is just the public account here today. And so let me start out with this, okay? It's been an amazing year. It's absolutely been a tremendous year. I mean, the public account started the year right around a million dollars, roughly, somewhere around there. And as of yesterday, we were pushing close to $1.9 million in the portfolio, right? And so it's been a tremendous year. And obviously, you know, we're due, we're due for a, a pullback of some kind, right? And today, you know, was definitely one of those days and we could have more days like this ahead, right? You're not going to always be up and up forever and ever and ever, right? And, you know, if you really want to know what drove the portfolio down today, I'll show you exactly what pulled this portfolio down today. And it, it did it pretty substantially. It was these four stocks. Look at those losses here today. Tesla Maesla, $47,000 down here today. Insane, right? Meta, over $24,000 down here today. Insane. Amazon, $5,000 plus dollar move down in Palantir, $5,000 plus dollar move down, right? Uh, these are dramatic. I mean, dramatic moves. Uh, in one day, in one portfolio, like, holy smokers, that's no dang jokers, right? But to be fair, I worked really hard for this, okay? <laughs> I worked really hard for this because think about it like this, right? Um, you know, in order to have a day like that, you've got to have built up to crazy amounts of money, right? You, you, you don't get a day like that without like climbing a long way so you can lose $47,000 on a stock in one day, right? And, um, you know, sometimes it, it pays to kind of back up a little bit and take a little uh, step back, right? Tesla's a stock that right now we're up $398,000. So even after today's $47,000 loss, we're up $398,000 on that up a thousand percent, right? Uh, Meta, we're up $327,000 on the stock. And that's after today's negative $24,000 move. A stock like Amazon, we're up nearly $24,000 on that, even after that massive you know, $5,000 move. Palantir, we're up $46,000 on that stock, despite uh, you know, being down $5,000 here a day, right? Now, there's a saying in the stock market and kind of in the financial markets, no one ever goes broke taking a profit, right? And it's true, but it's also such a flawed way of thinking, in my personal opinion, right? Because... If you are going to think like that all the time, no one ever goes broke taking a profit, you're going to take very short-term profits. Now, in very special companies, these kind of type of companies go on runs of hundreds of percent of thousands of percent in regards to their stock prices, right? So if you're in some, I don't know, just really bad stock, you know, you're lucky to get 5 to 10% appreciation a year. So if you get a nice, uh, I don't know, four, five, six, seven percent pop in that, sometimes in those stocks, it, unfortunately, because they do so poorly over time, it makes sense to take a profit, right? Because you're not going to get much more than that. But in when you're in growth stocks, when you're in game changing companies, that have brilliant business models for the long term. It does not make sense at all to go ahead and run out of those stocks and take a short profit. And in all those stocks, I just showed you, there's been a lot of people along the way that take these very short term profits, and it's just like. 
Like, what are you doing? Like, like, like what are you doing? Like, like, you know, let these babies run over time. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know exactly what I tell. Exactly what I tell you, okay? The thing that I always tell people is chase the loaves of bread. At least that's what I do. If you want to chase the breadcrumbs, you can chase the breadcrumbs. I'm going after the loaves of bread. And I'm never going to catch a loaf of bread if I'm trying to, you know, sell out a stock with a, a few percent gain or something like that, right? Uh, all these stocks that I'm always invested in have a long runway of growth ahead, a long way for their business models to build out. And as long as they continue to obviously put up much better revenue and net income numbers over the next five, 10 years, their valuations will be dramatically bigger than they are today. For instance, a Palantir. A Palantir, you know, goes to where I think they're going in terms of their revenue and their net income over the next five years. The stock's going to make the old valuation kind of look like a joke. That's what great growth stocks do. So I like to chase the loaf of bread rather than chase the breadcrumbs, right? Now, there could also be a few things kind of setting up here, right? Something that could be setting up is potentially a bear trap, right? Now, if we get another few days of this or a few weeks of this, you know, you could potentially have a bear trap set, especially if you're going to remain on a bull market. Like, let's say... Um, there's a situation where the economy never gets massively destroyed. We never have some sort of epic recession. Uh, let's say we do have that soft landing, and let's say the Fed's able to bring down rates over time. And, you know, it's all kind of Goldilocks. Inflation stays at bay, which I think inflation right now is uh, around true inflation numbers, has around 2.1, 2.2% uh, in terms of the CPI right now in reality. Okay. So if that's a scenario, then this could end up just being a big bear trap, right? And this happens many times in the market. And you, you, you know, basically the more you kind of have a few downward days, the more like the bear side starts to think, okay, you know, I think we got something here. I think the bear market's back on. I think we're going back lower, right? And so a day like today is kind of like a starter day, but you need more days. You need actually like a week, sometimes a few weeks to kind of really set people in on the bearer side to start shorting again, start saying, you know what? Yeah, we're going down. We're going down. I'm going to short, short, short. And then next thing you know, they get, you know, things flip to the other side. And um, all of a sudden you look at and you're like, oh, we were set up because these are the first two big techs to report earnings, right? Tesla, Netflix, you actually look at their numbers and you're like, actually, that's really impressive. And, but it, it's setting up perfect because you, you had the, both these stocks move down. So it kind of makes you think, oh man, everybody screwed this earnings season. NVIDIA is going to be down huge. Microsoft's going to be down huge. Meta, Apple, everybody's going to be down huge. I think there's some stocks that are going to blast higher on this earnings season. I think there are some stocks that are going to go down big, right? Um, but I think, you know, when you get an illusion like this, where you got the two biggest, most important stocks so far this earnings season from the tech side to report Tesla and Netflix and both go down huge. It can really get the bear saying, oh, we got him, man. Tesla and Netflix are going down. This means all these other guys are going down as well, right? And it can set a big bear trap. Now, it happens on the bull side as well. We fall into bull traps as well. Good example of that, you can look at a stock like Meta last year, right? Uh, I mean, you know, from basically the bat, uh, from Q4 of 2021 through, uh, you know, basically the end of last year, I mean, it set up so many bull traps. It was not even funny, man. It was just bull trap after a bull trap after a bull trap. And, you know, every time you bought into Meta thinking, okay, you know, we're probably coming back now, it just went lower and lower. And so you bought in at 300 and, and 250 and 200 and 150 and then 100 and then it went under $100 all the way down to 80 bucks at the lows, right? And, um, you know, they got, it just set bull trap after bull trap after bull trap. And every time you, you bought more shares, it just ended lower and lower and lower. And so it happens to both sides and it's vicious to go through it because you just feel like played in the end again and again and again. It's just the difference is bear traps are set obviously a lot more often because, you know, seven out of 10 years are usually going to be very good years in the stock market. One's going to be an okay year and you can kind of expect two to be bad years in the stock market, right? Like if you're talking about a 10 year span. And so it naturally, there's going to be so many more bear traps set along the way. But when the bull traps are set, we get set up as well. And it, it hurts bad, man. It hurts significantly. So in terms of me, where am I going? Uh, what am I going to do in the market kind of moving forward? It's business as usual, right? I'll be buying stocks in the Patreon portfolio tomorrow. If you want to see what moves I'm making, you know, tomorrow and all future weeks, then join me in the Patreon. It's only 19 bucks and no brainer. You get to see exactly how I build that portfolio out, right? I'll be making moves in there. I'm going to be buying stocks in there tomorrow, right? Uh, I'll be buying stocks in my public account, right? Tomorrow. Like for me, it's business as usual. I'm hedged for this year. 
I'm going to hedge for next year starting around probably September, October, sometime around then, maybe November, maybe December. We'll see. Um, and I'll hedge myself for 2024. But for right now, sitting pretty, uh, you know, just taking advantage of deals. And there's a lot of deals out there in the market, some growth stocks, some value stocks. You got, um, you know, some steel deals really all over this market. And I hope the market pushes lower in the short term, right? Uh, I would love for us to see a 10, 15% decline in indexes. I don't know if we're going to get it, to be honest, because there's still so much cash out there that needs to kind of come into the market. So I don't know if we're going to get it, but I would, I would welcome a 10, 15, even a 20% drop in indexes. So that would be amazing because then my hedges would be obviously worth dramatically more than what they're worth right now. I'd be able to cash out of those, flip those into hedges for next year, right? Plus be able to take advantage of some stocks at some insane discounts that are, would be much better than right now. So that's my hope, but yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold my breath on that because it might also not happen. So anyways, guys, appreciate you joining me. Thanks for being here on the clips channel. just want to say thank you to you guys. And uh, yeah, I might try to do a live video like this on, on the clips channel. Maybe, maybe once every few weeks, maybe once a month for you guys. Uh, just as kind of like a thank you for always, uh, you know, supporting the clips channel and whatnot. And uh, once again, if you want to support me and my content, you can do so obviously on Patreon. There'll be a pinned comment down there if you're looking to join there and you get to see the moves I'm making. Plus be part of the discord chat for 19 bucks. It's literally no brainer. Make sure you get in there and see what I'm up to. Much love and have a great day.